Hey, boo. Hey, welcome to another message here with me, Duchess. So, you know what we're going to do, baby? We're going to pull out the truth, baby. The whole truth and nothing but the truth, honey. All right. So, this is a general collective reading. So, take what resonates. Leave what doesn't behind. And just know that, yes, this is a timeless reading. So, I got my little download, baby. I'm a very strong, clear audience, honey. And I heard. Too bad, so sad, too bad, so sad. There's somebody feeling lost without you, okay? They are realizing here that they have fumbled their chances with you to the point of no return, okay? They know that they can't come back. There is no comeback. The comeback is done, baby. It's been gone. And so there's something here where this person is really feeling miserable here. But at the same time, it's like, well, you should have checked yourself before you wrecked yourself, but you did, okay? Now you want to try to check yourself after the fact but it's too late baby okay it's too late spirit give us more insight here about this situation this individual the situation is just too late baby look what did i say this person's in a three of swords okay they experiencing a lot of heartbreak and a lot of loss and what i'm hearing from spirit is that that's okay. This is called karma because at the end of the day, you was experiencing a lot of heartbreak and a lot of loss and they didn't seem to care. They didn't seem to have any types of decency to stop the heartbreak and loss you was going through. You know what I'm saying? So there's something here where it's like, this person is experiencing all of this heartache now. Oh, boo-hoo. Oh, woe is me. Oh, I'm so heartbroken. Oh, I'm so lost without you, okay? Because they're realizing here that you're not playing, okay? They're realizing that the chances are up, that the buck stops here, and this is making them real sick. They like, damn, this is serious? And you're like, yeah, I told you, this is serious. Like, I'm done with you. I'm finished, okay? Finished. Look here. This person is wishing that you would open up your heart space because you've completely emotionally withdrawn from them. And it's like, baby, of course I'm emotionally withdrawn. You're toxic, okay? Of course I'm moving away from you. You're extremely toxic. And so this person is toxic as they are. They wishing that you would open up your heart space to them again. What? So it's like as soon as you open up your heart space, they can get out of their heartbreak and sadness, right? And then transfer it back over to you. Hell to the no, baby. Hell to the no, okay? So this person is realizing that you've completely emotionally withdrawn because you're sick and tired. You're done with being done. You're finished and you're done again. So there's something here with this person like, damn, so they really done to you like I told you, but you thought I was playing, okay? You thought this was a joke. You thought this was a game. You thought this was a monopoly, but I was trying to tell you, baby, that this is real life, okay? Okay? You was trying to let it be known that your feelings are, are important, that you matter, right? And this person didn't want to believe it. They did not want to believe that fat meat was greasy. And now look, okay, now they the ones over here sick and sad and pissed because you emotionally withdrawn. But of course, there's no option but for you to emotionally withdraw because why are you going to let somebody sit there and stomp on your heart, run it over, stab it with a knife, throw it out the window, beat it with a stick? You know what I'm saying? It's like you not for any of that. You're not for it. Tell us more here about this person that's so sad because you know they messed up. Let's see here. Look, see, this person here wants to try to take charge of this situation somehow. They want to take authority for what? For what? Tell us here because I'm sick. <sighs> to speak about what? What they want to talk about? See, they want to bring some more hope back into the situation. Nah. Uh-uh. Nobody cares if they suffer in silence because you moved on and you're going to have fresh starts without them. No, we don't care. Okay? This person is really tripping. They are on one, for real. So this person wants to have discussions. They want to review the past, okay? They want you to become more enlightened here. They want you to have more hope in this connection. Why? Because they suffer in silence. So it's like now that they suffering, you know, they want you to ease their pain. They want you to stop it by opening your heart to them and opening yourself up to their toxicity and their negativity and the pain that they bring. That's what they want because that would be a win for them. They're, they're sad because they feel like you moving on and you're going to find happiness elsewhere. You're going to find love elsewhere. You're going to find acceptance, comfort, empathy, care, okay, elsewhere. So this person here is sitting around real sad and miserable, okay, hoping that you don't find this elsewhere because it's like, well, if you find it elsewhere and I'm here and you found it in your damn self, so they so they so out of touch with reality, they don't even know. You don't even need it elsewhere. You got it within yourself already, right? So you're like, I, got, I don't need you because I'm good. 
I got a connection with myself, my higher self, my spirit team, angels, ancestors, guys. It's like, I don't need any help from you, baby. Uh-uh. Let's see what's going on here with this person. They know that you're really done. And this is, this is, <laughs> ooh, they can't believe it, baby. Look, see, they want to tempt you. They want to tempt you in some way because it's like, how dare you really be done with me? How dare you leave me in sadness? How dare you leave me in suffering, in heartbreak? And you sitting there like, okay, are you for real right now? Because honestly, you left yourself in this heartbreak and sadness. I gave you the best that I had, baby. Giving you the best that I got, baby. Um, who said that back in the day? Anita Baker, okay? You let them know, look, I gave you the best I had, yet you still wanted to act some type of way. And so you mad because I'm not putting myself on the chopping block. I'm not throwing my heart out there to get trampled on again. So there's something here where it's like this person wants to tempt you and reel you back in, right? But look, <laughs> but look, okay? Mm, mm, mm. See, if you let this person back in, Spirit is saying that with this resurrection comes some sense of atonement, baby. This person cannot be trusted, honey, okay? They still want some level of revenge. They still feel like they need to check you or bring you down to size here for whatever has occurred between y'all in the past that has brought this separation, okay? So this is the type of person where you're on the right track. You know that you need to stay the hell away from them. You know that they have nothing but heartbreak and pain here for you, right? You know this. But it's like they want you to not know it. Let them back in, okay? Re-resurrect this connection, okay? And then make you pay for whatever they feel that you wronged them in the past. Like, this is somebody that you can't really be around because this person is too resentful, okay? They're too resentful. They're too full of rage, pain, anger. But at the same time, they put themselves in this position to go through this rage and this pain and this anger and this loneliness and this sadness from the way that they treated you and the way they treat people. But this is somebody that can't look in the mirror to look and say, you know what? I need to do better, right? So they'll look in the mirror and be like, well, damn, I really fumbled this. Like, I need them back because I'm so sick and sad. But then as soon as they got you back, they're going to be like, oh, okay. So this person was just trying to hurt me. You know, they, they were trying to hurt me, but now I, I got them back. So I'm going to act up like... This is sick. Like, they should appreciate you if they get you back. But this person has some problems they need to work through, baby. They got some problems they need to work through. Look, you way too wise to be falling for this tomfoolery. Yeah, uh-uh. You way too wise. You see through all this. You see it's a trick. You know that this person is insecure. You know that this person has nothing to offer but insecurity and drama and all that. You know what's up. You're wise to all the games and this is what they don't like. Because it's like no matter what they say, no matter what they do, no matter what they offer, you're like, I'm good on it. You're like, no, thank you. I'm good. Okay? And that's the nicer way of saying it. Some of you done told them where the hell to shove it. Okay? You let them know. So it's like you wise to the fact that this person just wants to come in so, you know, you can ease their pain and all that. And then it's going to be a trick, baby, because this is somebody you can't trust because they don't even love themselves. They're deeply insecure. OK, they sad, sick and miserable. Right. And so because of that here, it's like this energy where baby, OK, they have nothing to spread but misery because they're miserable. OK. They, they, they can't even be them true selves because they too insecure. So it's like this person here is always trying to act like a hard ass and trying to, you know, wear all this armor. But it's like, you're not for it. You're done with that type of energy. You're not going to sit here and let somebody take you to, through the ringer, right? Drag you through the mud. Uh-uh. We ain't doing all that. Beat you. No, we ain't doing that. Ain't nobody doing any of this stuff. No. You're not going to be talking to me crazy. You're not going to be acting up. No, no, and no. See, look, again, this person's in a five of pentacles. It's, this is all about the pain that they in, okay? This person is wallowing in misery, wallowing in their sorrows, okay? Patiently waiting for y'all to fix things. That's where they at. Patiently hoping, because I don't even want to say waiting. It's more like hoping because deep down inside, they know you're not messing with it. They know, right? But they still hope that you will, you know, just a little bit. They like, just a little bit? Just some? And you're like, just none. Okay? I'm good on it. I'm done. 
Yeah, see, they want a new start. But look, this person here is fueled by their shadow, okay? They're fueled by their shadow. So that's why as soon as they do have you, they're going to start acting up again. This is somebody that's addicted to inflicting you know, drama and chaos and pain and viciousness because that's all they really know. It's like to them, that's a normal state of being. So they in all this heartbreak and pain, right? But this is like a cycle that they like to go through. They like to go through heartbreak and pain, then try to beg for some forgiveness, okay? Then start the cycle of pain again by acting crazy and trying to get revenge and trying to make you pay, right? And then, you know, feeling heartbreak from not having you, then start the cycle again. Like, this is somebody that just won't get off the, the hamster wheel of toxicity, okay? They won't get off that hamster wheel at all whatsoever, but it's like they want you to continue to join them on this ride. And you're like, baby, I don't like hamster wheels, quite frankly. I like progression. You know what I'm saying? I like to make it somewhere. I don't like to keep doing the same cycle over and over and over again. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Look. See, this person is waiting for you to eventually be willing to sacrifice for them again. This is a taker. This is a taker and an energy vampire, okay? So they're being very patient. They're just waiting around. You see all this patience, patience, waiting. So if you think that this person is leaving you alone, they're not leaving you alone, okay? It's like in their mind, they're, they're waiting for you to finally be willing to make that sacrifice. But I really don't feel like you're going to. Like, I feel like for a lot of you, this person's a little out of touch with reality, okay? They, they out of touch. Like, when you said it was the final straw, that was that. When you said this is the straw that broke the camel's back, that's what it was. You know what I'm saying? But this person, for some of y'all, you might go in for another round. You know, you might deal with this person. But don't forget, Spirit is saying there's a lot of trickery involved because of this person's insecurities and inability to be vulnerable, to be real, okay? To be in tune with their emotions, to be a decent human being. There's, there's an imbalance. So it's like no matter what, you would end up sacrificing here lest this person go through a lot of healing and change. But do they want access to your heart space? Yes. Do they miss you like crazy? Yes. Do they feel like they fumbled and that they need to get things together? Yes, okay? But what they do with that energy afterwards is where things really not looking right because it's like you want to reel me back in just so you can try to hurt me again because you're sick, right? And you want to be patient and wait for me so you can, so I can sacrifice for you? No, you're not sacrificing the thing. You didn't sacrifice enough. You didn't gave enough, right? And you're done. You're done. You don't have to sacrifice a thing. This person needs to work on their own insecurities. That's what they need to work on. They need to work on learning how to be honest learning how to be real, learning how to be vulnerable, okay? They need to work on that because unless they do that, they're not going to have a lot of hope for any positive relationships at all. They're going to find themselves in negative relationship after negative relationship, but that's because their vibe is attracting their tribe, okay? They toxic, so they attracted more toxicity, and you good. You over here wise, and you're going to be attracting more wisdom and blessings and not all this sacrificial stuff they trying to get you into because no. Uh-uh, you done gave enough. It's time for some balance. You getting your due, baby. You are getting your due. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, follow, all of that good stuff. You can book a reading with me linked below on my website. You can also shop for some cute merch, book some healing, some coaching. I'm going to talk to you later, my dear. Bye.